the next speaker, Bonnie Lay, has just come back from Myanmar, where she's been spent the last seven months working on a coastal conservation program, protecting the sharks, the rays, the fisheries of this coastal part of Myanmar, where uh, there is a trade. Uh, the fishermen there are cutting and harvesting shark fins uh, for sale on their way to China, as well as some other fish. She'll tell you more details, but she's been working with the Wildlife Conservation Society there, and she's on her way now to do a master's degree in public policy at a uh, university in Beijing. So it's very much stepping into the world I was just talking about, and our next future leader, Bonnie. With grandma's blood in my veins, I was entranced by the Pacific Ocean. And so I became a marine biologist. I discovered a new species of sea slug, and I studied how penguins are heat stressed by climate change. I got to live in some of the world's most vibrant ecosystems, but I also saw the accelerating threats that marine wildlife faced. Dead zones double in size every decade. About 90% of marine top predators have already been wiped out. Sharks and rays are among the most endangered vertebrates, with 24% of species facing extinction. These species are particularly at risk in Myanmar. This is a country which uses unsustainable fishing methods and also neighbors high demand countries like John talked about in China. And so when we're working on these issues, we really need to be able to work together to conserve. We're supporting the government to create a national plan of action to conserve sharks and rays. We are also using science to answer some fundamental questions. Which species and in what quantities are they being caught? Which fishing gears are the most destructive? In which areas and during what seasons do these species congregate, putting them at particular risk? When we're answering these questions, we also need to take into account that Rakhine State is one of the poorest regions in the country and so faces dire socioeconomic pressures. While monitoring shark and ray catches, I immersed myself in the local fishing communities with people who look just like my grandmother and her brothers. They told me that they continue to fish sharks. They said this is the only way they know to get the money to feed their families and to send their children to school. This is a sharp reminder of how important it is to consider the needs of local communities when developing conservation solutions. Because let's face it, if your only choice is to kill fish or to kill your livelihood, which would you choose? In Rakhine State, this means we must try to develop more choices for these local communities. We're working to try to create alternative sustainable livelihoods, such as ecotourism or sustainable aquaculture, to give them more choices. There is a saying in Burmese, dit the bengkang net the dong, which means one sturdy tree can support 10,000 birds. Now, if each and every one of you can conserve one habitat, we together can conserve much more than 10,000 species. Be that sturdy tree. Let's not live in or on planet Earth. Let's live with planet Earth.